All right, class, um, we are back, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete um, some of the new tools uh, that we're going to talk about today, but I'm not going to go over how to read the drawing anymore. So I'm not going to go step by step and like, okay, you're going to put 0.500 in here, and you're going to put this in there, and you're... I'm not going to do that anymore um, because at some point you guys got to learn to actually read these drawings. So this sketch right here, this L-shaped sketch, this like reverse L shape, is not a sketch that should be too difficult for you now. Um, you should be able to dimension this at 0.5 and you should be able to dimension this from 2.5 all the way down to that construction line down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna do a general outline of it without the dimensions because uh, I, I need you guys to start being able to read these drawings, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll I'll show you kind of some of the common pitfalls in this circular pattern. Um, and so what we're going to be doing is focusing on getting this extrusion and having it using a circular pattern all the way around. So the video, uh, the good news is the video is going to be a lot shorter. However, um, it will be much less detailed in the drawings because I'm not going to do the, I'm not going to do the, the drawing. So I'm going to start a new document in my folder and I'm just going to call it the circular pattern, okay? It's gonna create it. And what we'll do is we're gonna create our rough outline here. And again, I'm not gonna go through all the dimensions on it because you guys should be able to do that at this point. Uh, so you start a new sketch on your front uh, plane and then uh, we're just gonna grab the line tool. We're gonna make a construction line in there. And I'll just drag that over a little bit more. Okay, and I'm gonna right click on it and say it's construction. And this is gonna be our axis of rotation. And then I'm gonna start our just kind of that little L shape right there. Oh, it's still in a construction line, so I wanna take it off that. And again, if you want it to be constrained all the way across, you just kind of match it up and then drag your mouse over. And what we'll do is go back through. You see how these are all construction lines? We need to go through and actually reverse that and make sure that none of these are construction. The only one that we want construction is down at the bottom. And you can see some of you are running into this issue with your extrusions. You're not being very detailed on the where the, the lines are joining. And you can see that the sketch itself is not grayed in. But as soon as I close that last line, you'll watch that construction, that um, drawing, you see how it got a little darker there? That means that it's ready to extrude. It means you can actually extrude it. So if you don't see it changing shape or changing the shade inside your sketch, that means it will not extrude and you gotta start looking at your corners to make sure that those are constrained together. Okay, so at this point, I would go through and I would dimension all of them. I'm not gonna do that in the video. Like I said, you should be able to read this and go, okay, I gotta put that dimension there. This should be 0.375. This should be one going across. You should be able to read these lead lines at this point, so I'm not going to cover that. Um, and so now what we'll do is we will um, we will do our revolve extrusion. So you're going to hit revolve. Remember, you got to select your sketch, and then uh -oh. let me try this one more time. There it is. Select your sketch, and then it says the axis, and the axis is that construction line. And so there's our construction line, okay? And then uh, the last part uh, that we're gonna be working on is creating that one hole in there. And so you'll start another sketch here. So again, I'm not gonna put dimensions in there. I'm just gonna do a general, um, just do a general placement. It's at the top of it. Okay, again, that has a specific measurement laid out in the uh, document, and so that's 0.5 and it's 1.65 from the center of it. So that's gonna be your job to put that dimension in there. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it for you. You guys gotta start reading your, your documents, okay? And then you remove, hit remove, so you select your circle. And again, that circle has a specific dimension, 0.5. You guys need to do that on your own. I'm not putting the dimensions in. And then you're ready to actually practice using that circular pattern tool, okay? So once you have this this point, I can't remember how many it actually says to put in here off the top of my hand. Let's take a look. 
Uh, yep. So if we read through here, it says a 0.5 through. Okay. And then our circular pattern, how many holes does it say? Well, we got one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten total holes. Okay. So then we come up here and we've got our pattern tools. So we've got a linear pattern, circular pattern, curved pattern, mirrored. And so we're going to use circular pattern. Okay. And where it gets kind of tricky is you've got to make sure, and this I'm going to be a little more detailed on, you've got to make sure that you're doing feature pattern. Okay, so hit feature pattern, and then you can select that hole. And you want to make sure that the whole cylinder is selected. In there. So we select the cylinder, and then it says axis of pattern, and you just want it to follow any, any of the axes that share the, the center. And so you could pick this one, you could pick this one, or this one. It doesn't really matter. And see how it put four holes in there, and we want ten. So we're going to change ten. All right. Let's just double check that, make sure I'm not missing something in here. Yep, ten holes right there. Okay, so hit OK. And then the last part is you do want to go put that little notch in there. Okay, and so we're going to do a little sketch right on the front. We're going to do a rectangle. And again, that has a specific dimension laid out in the, in the drawing. And we'll just extrude that rectangle all the way down. And there it is. There's your circular pattern. But again, remember, I, I could immediately tell if that this is not proportionate to this, the actual drawing. I, I can tell immediately if you did your, your, your sketches correctly and dimension correctly just by looking at it. But I wanted to make sure that you have kind of the basic introduction of the tool. I'm not going to tell you how to do your, your dimensions anymore. Sorry for saying that. I'm, I keep saying that over and over. But it's true. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna help you out with your dimensions anymore because you can read those drawings at this point. You should be able to read those drawings at this point. So, um, yeah. If you do have questions in class, if you run into issues with your sketch, you know, let me know and I'll do my best to help you.